This is what life is all about. This simple substance, water, is what makes life on Earth possible. Without it, the planet would look like this. Parched, barren, lifeless and foreboding. Time is running out in the West as this limited resource is used, overused, and dwindles. Nowhere is the story more critical than in the American Southwest, where water has become not a resource, but rather a commodity to be auctioned off to the highest bidder. The major source of water for the American Southwest lies here, the Colorado River. The headwaters are in Rocky Mountain National Park, high in the Colorado Rockies. From there, the waters flow southwest and pass through Utah, then through Arizona and into Nevada. Near Las Vegas, our story gathers new meaning. The ever-increasing demands from Las Vegas upon the waters of the Colorado River have stretched to the breaking point. Now, Las Vegas is looking elsewhere to quench its thirst, and Utah may pay the price. South of Las Vegas, a dwindling Colorado River continues south along the California-Arizona border. Eventually, it disappears into the barren sands of Mexico, no longer reaching the Gulf of California. Unable any longer to get all of the water it wants from the limited resources of the Colorado River, Las Vegas is turning its sights here on Utah. A proposed pipeline of nearly 300 miles lies on the drawing board, ready to take water away from Utah's Snake Valley. Las Vegas officials say there's plenty of water to go around, but some are not so sure. Water from Mount Wheeler above the valley feeds the aquifer that makes life possible in this area. Residents and local officials say removal of the water will dry up wells, kill surface vegetation, and bring massive toxic dust storms to the Wasatch Front, putting Utah's public health at risk. Is this a disaster in the making? This is the story of Utah's battle for water. It's a battle that will reach far beyond the boundaries of the Snake Valley, impacting air quality, human health, and Utah's future for generations to come.